Okay, <clears throat> so this is uh, the moment we're going to uh, change uh, this uh, ThinkPad X1 Carbon. We're going to change this ThinkPad X1 Carbon uh, screen. We've just had the screen delivered. Um, so uh, I've done some reading on this and uh, apparently uh, the main thing to do is to ensure the battery is disconnected. So that's what we're going to do first. So I've got to take uh, this off and um, we are going to try and disconnect the battery. A little bit nervous, but let's see how we get on. Okay, next step, screen, this is the scary bit. Okay, so watching the videos, there uh, is a little lip uh, just here. Hopefully you can see, see that. Uh, I've got a little guitar pick here. So um, that's my kind of tool of choice uh, for taking this off. And as far as I'm aware, you just have to unclip this. So here we go. Oh, look already. Okay, it's looking promising. <clears throat> so here you go. So you can see uh, just here, there's these little little clips here that hold the screen clipped in here. And there's a little bit of adhesive uh, down here. So I'm going to have to carefully prise that away. All right, <clears throat> that's that's the uh, that's that taken off. There we go. All right, so what have we got? Um, all right, could be tricky. Uh, my desk isn't big enough. Okay, so I believe there is screws here, here, and I need to take these screws out here. And in theory, it should all just lift out. But before I do that, I'm going to have a look at the new screen and just double check that that kind of looks right. So let's have a look at that. <clears throat> So I paid uh, £165 uh, for this laptop and um, the screen that came with it was a 1600 by 900 uh, screen and uh, I happen to know that the uh, X1 uh, Carbon Generation 3, which uh, this is, uh, should have a 1920 by 1080 uh, screen. So my guess is at some stage someone has uh, replaced this screen uh, with a, a generation 2 x1 carbon screen because they're interchangeable and uh, they've put the 1600 by 900 screen in and um, instead of uh, a replacement uh, 1920 by 1080 hd full hd screen so this is the part i've got uh, the part itself uh, was £54 UK 
So um, 165 pounds plus 54 pounds. Um, yeah, I'm kind of starting to ask myself, was this project worth it? But um, I'll leave you guys to decide about that. But let's crack on with the repair. This looks right. It has the two clips here, just like it does there. Um, let's have another closer look. OK, so again, there are clips I can see here. So these must be these ones here. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to leave that in the pack for now until I'm ready to replace. Because I don't want to get my hands all over it. Oh, we have a screen. Okay, yeah. Check CMOS. Let me change the camera angle. Okay, so we've got a screen and um, everything's actually looking uh, fairly...
fairly okay. Obviously, because we unplug the battery, um, CMOS battery uh, has, uh, well, CMOS has reset. So I just have to put the time and date in. Hopefully that's it. 2001. <laughs> We're in 2022 now. Wow. Okay. It's uh, 3.58. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Okay, here goes nothing. Hopefully we'll boot into the operating system. There's the Fedora initial loading screen. I have recorded the screen uh, as it was before, so um, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to compare. But even now I can see there's a massive improvement uh, in in the screen this is all a lot smaller um, a lot sharper this is a IPS display there we go Fedora 35 oh, that is just so much better Awesome. Okay. Display settings. And there we are. 1920 by 1080. So, fantastic. Now that was quite a, a straightforward repair, as you saw. I mean, you literally witnessed me uh, doing it uh, live there. So, yeah. ThinkPads. Pretty good. Easy to repair, 165 pounds plus 54 pounds. Was it worth it? With the screen that it was always meant to have, not that horrible screen that it had before. There we are. Thanks for watching, and um, I hope you uh, you had as much fun as I did in uh, watching that. Thank you.